Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to present our work, how to make private distributed cardinality estimation practical and get differential privacy for free. My name is Chang Yudong from Newcastle University. This is joint work with my colleagues at Newcastle University, Guangzhou University, Nankai University, and King's College London. Let me start from secure multi-party computation. The problem we can solve with MPC is this. There are multiple parties. Each has a private input. And they want to jointly evaluate a function f over their input. But none of them want to disclose their inputs to the other parties. This seems to be an impossible task. But with MPC, this becomes possible. What the parties can do is they run a cryptographic protocol. In the protocol, they exchange encrypted messages. And the function f gets evaluated blindly over all their inputs to produce the output. At the end of the protocol, each party gets an output and nothing else. Because MPC allows us to do computation without seeing the actual inputs, it has been proposed by many people to solve data privacy problems in many scenarios. However, to use MPC in the real world, there are still many challenges. One of the biggest challenges is big data. Because of its cryptographic nature, MPC is much slower than computation with plain text data. If you only have a small amount of data, then it's not a big problem. But if you have a large amount of data, then you are in trouble. That means unless we can make MPC much more scalable, there is no way we can use MPC in the killer applications, such as data mining, and the machine learning. Another big challenge is inference. Although in MPC, the parties cannot see directly the other parties' inputs, they can infer from the output and its own input something. For example, if Alice and Bob, they run an MPC protocol which add up their inputs, then from the sum and its own input, Bob can figure out Alice's input. So even though cryptography is used, privacy can still be violated. And we need to think about how to protect against inference attacks. To summarize our paper in one sentence, we use sketches in MPC. For those who don't know, sketches are small data structures that summarize massive data. The size of sketches is small we can often compress the original data into log or constant space sketches. Then we can use sketches in computation to provide approximate answers to certain queries. Then what can we get by combining sketches and MPC together? One thing obvious is we can get scalable MPC. Now, because the input size is reduced to sublinear, the cost of MPC is reduced to sublinear as well. Another thing that is not obvious at all is that when we use sketches and MPC together, we can get differential privacy. With differential privacy, the MPC protocol is now secure against inference attacks. Let's talk about the technical details. The MPC protocol in the paper is for the private distributed cardinality estimation problem. The problem is the following. There are n parties, each has a set. We want to find out how many distinct elements in the union of all sets. We also want privacy, which means in the process, we don't want to leak any item directly. And we also want to make it hard to infer whether a certain item is used in the protocol to produce the output. The sketch we use in the paper is FM sketch. The structure of the sketch is quite simple, a bitmap. The size of the sketch is dependent on the cardinality to be estimated. If the cardinality to be estimated is n, then the size of the sketch 
is roughly log n plus a small constant. Initially, all bits in the sketch are set to zero. To count a set or a multi-set, what we can do is we take the elements from the set, hash it, and then we count how many zero bits are at the end of the hash value. The number then is used as the index to set the corresponding bits to one in the sketch. After processing all data, we take the sketch and then we find out where is the first zero bit. The index is denoted as Z and we can estimate the cardinality by two to the power of Z divided a constant V. If we just use one FM sketch to estimate, then the estimation accuracy is not good. What we do in practice is we build multiple FM sketches in parallel, each using a different hash function. Then we can extract multiple Z values, and then we use the sum, or more precisely, the average to estimate the cardinality, which gives us a more accurate result. One last thing about FM sketch. If we have multiple sets, then for each set, we can build an FM sketch using the same hash function. Those FM sketches can be merged together using bitwise wall operation. The result is the FM sketch that counts the union of all sets. We build a protocol around FM sketches. It works in this way. There are n parties, each has a set, and they share m different hash functions. For each party, they use their local set to build m different FM sketches. Then the sketches are split into secret shares and the shares are sent to the computation party. The computation party then use the secret shares as the input to run a MPC protocol. In the protocol, the FM sketches in the same column are merged into a union FM sketch. Then from each union FM sketch, a Z value is extracted. In the end, the protocol outputs the sum of all Z values and the sum can be used to estimate the union cardinality. To implement this protocol, we use the SPEEDS MPC framework. SPEEDS is a secret sharing based MPC framework. We use SPEEDS because it's efficient and it provides strong security guarantees. Here are some performance figures. As we can see in the table, for the total running time, our protocol is very fast. And it also scales very well because of its log complexity. For the total communication costs, we have the same observation. That was about scalability. How about differential privacy? In our protocol, if the cardinality to be estimated is large enough, then the output is differentially private. Here, differential privacy is obtained for free. That means we don't need to add noise in the process of computation, and we don't need to manipulate the output after the computation. How is that possible? The intuition is this. The estimate from the FM sketch is approximate. That means it's already uncertain to some degree and the uncertainty here can be used to replace the noise for differential privacy. The result is interesting because neither MPC nor FM sketches can achieve differential privacy alone. But when we put them together, we can get differential privacy for free. Then how did we prove the protocol is differentially private? In general, to prove an algorithm that is differentially private, what we need to show is for two sets that differ in at most one element, the output distributions of the algorithm are close almost everywhere except a small probability. Does this hold in practice? Here are some empirical results from simulation. The curves in the diagram shows the output distribution of our protocol. The blue line was produced using a set that is of cardinality n, and the red dotted line was produced using the same set 
plus an additional element. As we can see, the curves are getting closer and closer when n increases. That means the output distributions from the neighboring data sets will eventually become close enough for differential privacy to hold. The theoretical analysis is quite complex and I won't have time to go through it, but you can find the details in the paper. One last thing I want to show. Remember I said our protocol is differentially private if the cardinality to be estimated is large enough. Then how large is large enough? Here are some concrete numbers. As we can see in the table, for reasonable epsilon value and the small delta, the lower bound of the cardinality for differential privacy to hold is quite small. Now let me conclude my presentation. We used the FM sketch in MPC for PDCE problems. We found when using sketches in MPC, we can greatly improve the scalability. And we also found with surprise, when using sketches and the MPC together, we can get differential privacy for free. That's all for today. If you are interested, you can find more details in our paper and I'm happy to take questions. Thank you.